Good afternoon traders. It is Tuesday, April 29th, 2014. The U.S. stock market is closed. You know, the overall market had a good day today. Dow closed up 88 and, you know, the S&P 500 and the tech stocks. Everything was up pretty solid today. And so it was kind of a disappointing day for us because we really, we really didn't make money today. Uh, I must say that things did improve somewhat. Uh, from yesterday, we closed, as you may remember, negative on our open trade equity. And we ended up getting uh, out of all that with drum roll, $46 positive. <laughs> so I guess you can't complain when your negatives go to positive, even by a small amount. But, uh, you, know, you know, when you trade a diversified portfolio, uh, you always run the risk that... Uh, you might just happen to act, almost accidentally get into a, a bad stock and one nasty stock can really spoil the day for you. And for us, it, uh, that stock was in China Cash International, CCIH. It's kind of a thinly trade, traded stock. It, it, it's, it, it's good enough for our volume for us, but still uh, a little on the thin side and it... Uh, had a, a good day today and the problem is it got us in near the top and backed off even though it, it ends up closing uh, greater than six percent up we're still down almost four thousand dollars in that or I think we are I think it's more than four thousand anyway bottom line is because of that one bad apple in the barrel we're ending up carrying negative 38.67 into tomorrow. Uh, you know, maybe things will go like they did today and what we have negative to, on the close today will be uh, at least marginally positive tomorrow. We'll, we'll just have to wait and see. Um, you know, overall the market's looking good. I mean, as I say, the overall market did really well today. Uh, there is uh, a report coming up out by the Fed tomorrow on uh, qualitative easing and that could knock, you know, that could introduce a little volatility in the market. Uh, we'll see. Fed's supposed to back off a little more on um, their bond buying program, you know, but the, everybody seems to know that. So it's, it's hard to say. We, we'll just have to see. Anyway, let's take a look at the charts. Okay, we're looking at the Dow here, and you know, you, you can kind of see what's happened here in the last three days. We had the sell off two days ago, and then yesterday we had a fairly decent move up, but the problem is we had this big V formation right in the middle of the day, which kind of screwed everything up for us. Uh, but you can see we had quite a move here from where the Dow was down over 50 points yesterday to the where it was up about a, uh, over a hundred points today um, the only thing that I really like about this move is that once again we had the big move at the beginning of the day and then it looked like it was gonna dump again and I just hate you know we just hate that formation and buyers did come in here and bid this thing up and actually made uh, new highs up here where I think it was up 108 or something like that. And then of course it backs out just a little bit, closing up 86. Um, this area right up here where it did back off of is kind of the new resistance area and we get above that, um, that's about where the new red line's gonna go. But we didn't get above it today, it backed off it, we're below the hypothetical new red line uh, on the close. So we'll we'll just wait and see where it's going to go from here. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm looking at this and thinking that, you know, before it gets through this resistance, it's going to have to come down some, but, you know, it could just have a, like a, a down opening tomorrow and then um, slingshot out of that and get uh, above that. Um, that's definitely what I like to say. As I say, Fed's doing some stuff on quantitative, qualitative easing tomorrow, and we'll have to watch that and just see how the market uh, reacts to that. 
Uh, I don't have a whole lot to show you today as far as other markets, but I will show you just a couple things here. Um, this uh, first one is in uh, EXK, which is um, Endeavor Silver Corporation, and that had quite a fairly strong move this morning. The thing is, we kind of get in middle of the day, you know, toward the end of that move, but we're still holding a thousand dollars in Endeavor Silver. And then another trade, and th this is, I'm showing this, it, it was a little bit disappointing, but still, uh, you know, it's not over to the fat lady sings. And this is in GST, which is Gas Star Exploration. It had a good move today, and we jumped into this. And I think when it was up here, we were up over $2,000 on that. That looked really good, but unfortunately, it backed off here. So, you know, we're only holding about $600 positive. So we really want to see this market continue this nice move that it started uh, you know, earlier on in the day today. And, you know, I think good chance it'll do that. But uh, nevertheless, we're not holding a pile of money in it right now. Anyway, that's the way it went. went. Uh, it's Tuesday, and this is Trader Bob signing off. I'll see you tomorrow on Wednesday.